Backup and recovery is one of the most important areas of database management. Unfortunately, backup and recovery strategies are often neglected until after data is already lost. In this demo, we will learn how a fictional company, the Great Outdoors Company, improves their backup and recovery strategies with IBM DB2 Advanced Recovery Solution. Having the right resources for recovery is critical for any business that wants to minimize database downtime and its associated costs, meet service level agreements, and increase customer satisfaction, revenue, and corporation reputation. From the IT perspective, manual backup and recovery processes are very tedious, error-prone, and time-consuming, thereby they are not frequently implemented. As the volume of data increases, it becomes harder to backup and recover without longer downtime that impacts production applications. To help resolve these challenges in database backup, recovery, and data unload, IBM DB2 Advanced Recovery Solution for DB2 for Linux, Unix, and Windows provides three distinct products. DB2 Merge Backup, DB2 Recovery Expert, and Optum High Performance Unload. These new products help DBAs prepare a backup and recovery strategy that is in alignment with your service level agreement strategy, provides the lowest impact on production, saves time and resources with exceptional performance and flexibility of the tools. Let's look at the current backup policy at the Great Outdoors Company that involves creating a weekly full DB2 backup every Sunday, followed by daily Delta backups on weekdays, and an incremental backup every Thursday. As the business is growing with more customers, the database becomes larger, increasing the amount of time and resources needed for a full backup. A hardware failure at the data center facility on Saturday damages the database. To recover the database, Shelly, the warehouse DBA, needs to use the full Sunday backup together with the incremental backup from Thursday and the Friday Delta backup along with the transaction logs. This takes a lot of time. Shelly wishes that she had a more recent full backup to speed up recovery but creating a full DB2 backup more frequently would require too much time and resources. DB2 Merge Backup can help by giving Shelly the capability to take incremental backups or Delta backups and merge them with an already existing DB2 full backup to quickly create a new merge backup that serves the same purpose as a full DB2 backup. Creating a full merge backup takes much faster than a regular full backup, so Shelly can afford to create a full merge backup every other day. Now, when she needs to recover data, she can restore everything from the latest merge backup along with the transaction logs. With DB2 Merge Backup, Shelly will only need one full DB2 backup to start the backup routine. All the subsequent merges can start from the full merge backups that are generated by DB2 Merge Backup. Shelly is excited that DB2 Merge Backup allows her to create a faster and more frequent backup schedule and minimize system downtime. DB2 Merge Backup is a command line utility that allows you to replace regular full backups with more frequent full merge backups by combining incremental and delta backups with a recent full backup. The resulting merge backups are available for the shortest possible restore times, aligning with your service level agreements and reducing application downtime. You can run DB2 Merge Backup in standalone mode outside and independently of the current DB2 process which drastically reduces the effects on the database server. We have seen how a DB2 Merge Backup can help streamline the backup process. And in the following two scenarios, we will see how DB2 Recovery Expert is used to maximize the efficiency of the recovery process. In the first scenario, the IT team discovers that a large number of rows has been accidentally deleted from the table Employee Expense Detail over the past day. The team needs to recover these rows as well as find out when, who, and what applications have performed these deletes. Thomas, the DBA, is called in to investigate this problem. Normally, to recover the data, Thomas would need to first, extract DB2 transactions from the log over the past day, second, examine the logs to determine when, who, and what applications deleted the data, third, Replace the delete statements with insert statements and run them. Let's see how a DB2 recovery expert can help Thomas automate this process. After logging on to the recovery expert web browser client, Thomas selects to run the log analysis task. 
The log analysis wizard automatically enables the appropriate tabs on the left side to guide you from one step of the analysis process to the next. First, Thomas selects the database on which to perform the log analysis operations. Next, he moves to the Report tab to get a detailed report with the undo SQLs generated, because he will need the insert statements to recover these deleted rows. He then specifies to have the log analysis report for the past day. DB2 Recovery Expert automatically detects all the partitions defined on the database where Thomas has the options to select specific partitions for the report. On the Objects tab, Thomas selects the table Employee Expense Detail for the report by dragging it from the list of available objects and dropping into the selected objects area. On the Filter tab, Thomas can select different database operations and transactions. He can also include or exclude specific applications, user IDs, transactions, tables, and table spaces. In this example, Thomas includes all database operations and only committed transactions. Next, Thomas runs the Log Analysis task. When the Log Analysis report is generated, Thomas examines the status messages and moves on to the report. The Statistics view shows the overall statistics of log analysis activity on the selected table for a period of one day with the counts for each database operation, along with the corresponding graph for those activities. Thomas drills down to see the list of application names that have performed these operations. He notices that the application db2bp has performed all the delete operations. Next. He drills down to see the user ID that ran these applications. In the Post Filter view, Thomas can further modify the set of filters for the generated report to narrow down the subset of the information in the Report view. In this example, Thomas wants to include only the application db2bp that performed the deletes. Then, he examines the transaction information on the Report tab. He can see the date and time when each transaction was run. When Thomas selects a transaction, he can see the related operations with detailed information, including the partition node number on which the operation was run. Thomas selects an operation and clicks on Details to further examine the data involved in the operation. If this were an update, you could see the data before and after the update. Because Undo SQL has been generated as a part of the report, you can click on Undo SQL to see the Insert SQL statement needed to undo the specific delete operation. He has the option to run all the undo SQL statements now, or export them and the report for a team review. In this example, Thomas exports the undo SQL statements to run them later. After the exported undo SQL statements have been run, Thomas verifies that all the lost data is back. The team is impressed with how quickly Thomas determines the culprit of the data loss so that the team can quickly react to resolve the issues. In the second scenario, Thomas has accidentally dropped the table retailer contact while cleaning up the test system to increase disk space. There is a recent backup, but there have been some transactions involving the table since, and Thomas wants to make sure that these transactions are intact when the table is recovered from the recent backup. Thomas needs to recover the table as well as any affected related and dependent tables to a point in time prior to the time when the accidental deletes occurred. Normally, to recover the data, Thomas would need to first restore all the affected tables from the backup, second, examine the logs and extract all the transactions on the affected tables between the time of the backup and the desired recovery point in time, and third, run the redo SQL statements on the restored tables. Let's see how a DB2 Recovery Expert can help Thomas automate this process. In DB2 Recovery Expert web browser client, Thomas selects the Recovery task. He then selects the database that contains the table to be recovered. On the Objects tab, Thomas expands the Tables node because he wants to recover the deleted table. The object names in the available objects panel are color coded. In this example, the table name Retailer Contact is in blue, which means that the stable does not exist in the current state of the database. Thomas selects the stable for recovery. 
Next, he selects the point in time from which the table is to be recovered by specifying the desired date and time. DB2 Recovery Expert generates the list of dependent objects which are related to the table selected on the object step. By default, all of the dependent objects are recovered along with the selected objects. He generates the recovery plan. Thomas can review the status messages generated from the recovery plan. The recovery plan has been generated along with the details for each step shown below. In this example, the recovery plan involves extracting the data from a backup image in a loadable format and running log analysis to generate redo SQL. During this process, any constraints that prevent DB2 Recovery Expert from recovering the selected table are deleted and then recreated after the recovery. The details for each of the steps, such as the objects involved in the recovery, are displayed on the right with editable options where applicable. Now Thomas is ready to run the recovery plan. After the recovery is complete, Thomas verifies that the retailer contact table is back along with all of its dependent and related tables. Thomas is happy that he can recover the data quickly and with minimal effort on his part. DB2 Recovery Expert is a database recovery tool that protects mission-critical data. It can help you recover accidental or disaster data loss by providing a faster, less costly method of recovery. You can recover actual data or object definitions. The DB2 Recovery Expert components perform coordinated recovery and log analysis operations against all of the database partitions without requiring user interaction for each partition. You can run DB2 Recovery Expert from a convenient web interface as well as from a command line to automate recovery. The log analysis features in the product enable organizations to monitor or audit changes to a database by creating reports from active and archived logs. You can use the reports to determine when who and what applications perform the changes. Redo and undo SQL statements can be automatically generated for expedient transaction recovery. It is also available for DB2 for ZOS. In the following scenario, we will show how a DBA from the Great Outdoors company uses Optum High Performance Unload to further increase the efficiency of their backup and recovery process to unload data faster. Shelley, the data warehouse DBA needs to periodically update the customer table on the company's data warehouse system with the data from the production database. Shelly does not want to take the production system offline, so she will use Optum High Performance Unload to unload the table from the production system. Since Optum High Performance Unload does not interact directly with DB2, the production database performance will not be affected. Besides, Due to the power of parallel processing, advanced output options, and a variety of supported output formats, Optum High Performance Unload can unload large amounts of data significantly faster and in a more convenient way than other tools like DB2 Export. Alternatively, Shelly can also choose to run Optum High Performance Unload from a recent backup instead of the production database. Optum High Performance Unload helps Shelly unload very large quantities of data much faster and with minimal effort. Optum High Performance Unload is a utility that improves data availability, mitigates the risks and accelerates the value delivery of database migrations. Use Optum High Performance Unload to run concurrently with production applications, maintaining system availability, but minimizing duration of impact to production performance. Reduce the risk of impacting online production by fitting more work into tighter shrinking batch windows. Deliver the value of new hardware and software investments faster by speeding database migrations. It is also available for DB2 for ZOS. We have seen how the DBAs from the Great Outdoors company used various DB2 tools to reduce database downtime, recover data loss, meet service level agreements, ensure swift and painless recovery, and ultimately secure customer satisfaction. DB2 Advanced Recovery Solution provides you with all the necessary tools to make your backup and recovery process faster, simpler, and more efficient. For more information about IBM DB2 Advanced Recovery Solution and related individual offerings, visit us on the web at the links shown here.